If you live about a half an hour away from work in Ottawa, guess what? You spend more than four full days stuck in traffic every year. The capital is the fourth most congested city in Canada, 12th in North America, according to a recent study by GPS maker TomTom. Tom. Now, here's a look at tonight's commute, and just a few minutes after 6, it's moving fairly well. Still, however, you may be in your car and hopefully listening to us on 580 CFRA. The amount of time we are spending driving the capital is getting longer. It's now a very familiar type, part of life in Ottawa. So how can you reduce the amount of time you spend behind the wheel? CTV's John Waugh put the Ottawa commute to the test. Public transit against a vehicle in rush hour traffic. He joins us live. John, how did it go? Well, for those who are driving home right now or maybe listening to us on CFRA, I got some bad news for you. According to TomTom, Tom, on average, about 90% of your commute home is going to be stuck at a crawl. So does taking transit make any kind of difference? Well, there was only one way to find out. Behind the wheel or on a bus, it's a decision many of us make to start and end our day. But which is better? My own time, baby, my own time. Got to run. Well, it's cheaper on my pocket. For me, a bus is not very convenient. To find out, bring on the CTV commuter challenge. I raced three Ottawa councillors to the respective wards of Orleans, Canada, and Barhaven. And it all happens in the middle of the afternoon rush hour. Our first challenger, East End councillor, Stephen Blay. He prefers to get around by car. So I take him on aboard an OC Transpo bus. Finish line, the Millennium Park and Ride in Orleans. Commuting, commuting to and from Orleans is not the easiest thing. A hard road ahead, still, there can only be one winner. Are you ready? Absolutely. Get set, go. Well, I run and try in vain to catch my bus. Clay quickly pays for parking and is on his way. You know, I'd normally take Nicholas, but uh, O'Connor's probably the quickest, uh, quickest from here. After about 10 minutes, I finally catch a 30 to Orleans, but there is one problem. Standing on buses is no fun. Not having a seat though, not as bad as being stuck in downtown traffic. And look at these guys, he's going to get stuck because this guy's in the intersection. And these are the kinds of problems you run into when you're driving the downtown. I, I, I can't stand driving the downtown. Back on a pack bus, I ask fellow commuters how they feel about taking transit. Well, it's normally better if I'm sitting. <laughs> but, you know, with all the changes they've made, uh, these buses, especially the 30s, are really busy. Still, busing to and from Orleans is better for him. The bus works well for me. A couple minute walk from my door to the bus stop, and it drops me off almost in front of the Well, we move relatively smoothly in a designated bus lane. So we're just approaching the... Uh, the Vanier Parkway Riverside Drive exit. Lay hits slowdown. This is definitely the split causing some havoc already. After slowdown. So we're going about 50 kilometers an hour, and the speed limit on the 174 is 100 kilometers an hour. After slowdown. On Trim Road is backed up beyond the uh, beyond the exit lane into the main uh, main lane of the 174. By that time, I'm well off the highway and on the OC Transpo milk runs. Where Brian Coburn and Mayor Blur is about uh, 443. Finally, just going to see it on the 30. So I decide to get a little comfortable with a crossword puzzle. On the final leg of our journey, while I search for a three letter word for victory, Blay starts to get a little bit worried. So, unfortunately, that's not the parking ride we're heading for. Not soon after, though, Blay does reach the Millennium Parking Ride. Here we are. We're just coming up to the parking right now. You can see. Uh, John's there, he's beating us. Not a big surprise for me. There you go. It was close, five close minutes. Close one, but uh, the bus went out. Yeah, you kind of predicted it though. 30, the 30's a great route. It's there. it's pretty quick. There you go, so if uh, you're ever wondering what's faster, bus or car, the answer is? Today it was the bus. That's right, it was the bus. Now, that was just one race. We still have two to go. Tomorrow, I take on Councillor Alan Hubley in a race out to Canada, and we'll tell you why even people on my bus were willing to bet against me. Now, um, in terms of you got to experience my bus ride, we want to hear about your experiences of the best and worst bus routes in Ottawa. You can email us those at busroutes at ctv.ca or on Twitter at ctvottawa. Graham. What did you beat him by, John? How long? 
I was only about five minutes, but uh, it was a, a hefty five minutes. I'm Absolutely. Gonna... Okay, we'll look forward to the next one. CTV's John Wild reporting live.